Good morning, YouTube. Hello, Supreme Builds family. Uh, I'm here today with a quick video. This is not really about Cody. We're not even going to go into Cody today. Uh, I am just going to show you guys the brand new uh, 2017 version of the NVIDIA Shield. I mean, it's been out for a little bit already, but I just got one because I'm going to be using it to bring you guys uh, videos off of it for the Android-based uh, videos that I make. I, as a little bit of background, I've, I have the original Shield and the original Shield Pro. I've had them since the day they were released, and um, they're great. The new Shield has exactly the same internals, basically, same processor, same uh, graphics chip, same amount of RAM, everything. All right, so uh, it, it came out two years later, and they didn't even update the hardware inside. A lot of people think, oh, that's no good. No. It's still the absolute best device you can get. There was no need to update it. This thing is a monster. It is a beast. It is the best Android streaming device you can get. It's not cheap. It's $199 for the regular and $299 for the Pro. But, man, if you have the money to burn, uh, you can't really get a better uh, Android streaming device. All right, so without further ado, guys, this is the new Shield, okay? Just want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. The front has nothing. There are there's a vent on the bottom there for uh, the heat escaping. It actually has a fan in it. Front has no ports or buttons. No ports or buttons on this side. No ports or buttons on this side. All right. On the back, it's very simple. All you have is a power port, um, <clears throat> a Ethernet jack, an HDMI port, and two USB 3.0 ports. That's it, an event. You have another event, all right? So your event is here, your two USB 3.0 ports are here, your ethernet port is here, and your, I mean, I'm sorry, your HDMI port is here, and your ethernet jack is there, and then that is your power uh, plugin. That's it. Pretty simple, straightforward, and this in the front right here, this triangle right there, that is your power button. It is a touch sensitive button that doesn't actually depress. Um, that is the device in a nutshell. It is uh, small, uh, portable, really great. I was shocked because, like I said, I have had shields forever, and I know they said it was smaller, but I didn't realize how much smaller this thing. I mean, I could throw this in my back pocket if I really wanted to, although I wouldn't advise that because you might break it if you sit on it. But, I mean, you can, you can definitely uh, carry this around easily. It's super light. I haven't plugged it in yet. It's brand new. haven't done anything with it yet. I just basically unboxed it all right you guys want a comparison here is the 2015 regular shield model all right the pro looks exactly the same as the regular shield on the 2015 version but the new 2017 version the pro still looks exactly like this it does not look like this which is much much smaller lighter and more portable okay um, so if you want the pro uh, of the new version, you're going to get a box that looks like this. It's this size. It's big. All right. If you want the regular 2017 version, you will get this. Um, here you guys go. Just as a general comparison ticker, I will line them up at basically the same distance. And as you can see, there is a tremendous difference in size, guys. The design is the same. The size is different. Now, what is different on the older 2015 version that is not on the 2017 version is some ports on the back here, okay? Um, here you have a vent, again, just like you do on the new one. This is a micro USB, uh, I mean a micro SD card slot, which you don't have on the new one. And here is a micro uh, USB port, so you can plug in something micro USB right into there. Um, and then you have two full-size USB 3.0 ports, just like on the new one, and your Ethernet jack, just like on the new one, and your HDMI port, just like on the new one, and your power uh, input, just like on the new one. So the differences are over here at the end, is the only differences. Up until this point, uh, everything this way is exactly the same, but over here you have your uh, micro USB port and your micro SD card slot. Those are your only differences on the back. However, you don't really need a uh, micro US, uh, USB port. It's not really necessary because you have two USB 3.0 ports on the new one. 
uh, and you don't need a SD card slot really because of these USB 3.0 ports. So you can plug in an external solid state drive, an external hard drive, as long as it's USB 3.0. Um, you can even plug in one of these bad boys, which I just got. So it's a USB 3.0 flash drive, 128 gigabytes from SanDisk. Um, this thing uh, says uh, it's up to 150 mega megabytes per second, which is definitely enough for anything you need to do on the Shield. I'm gonna try that out uh, once I get this Shield set up. And that's gonna be my external storage. It's tiny, okay? It just plugs right into the back. I will tell you guys that, you know, I have used one of these on regular PC and it works great. It's fast, it's good. So I'm thinking it's gonna be great in the Shield too. I'll let you know the verdict in a later video, uh, but I will, I'm gonna do a setup video for the, for the Shield, okay? I also purchased myself this brand new re-remote. Um, <clears throat> re Okay, let me show that to you guys real quick <clears throat> as well that I'm going to be using with the shield. Okay, um, this is the Re Mini i8 Plus and it is it has been redesigned for 2017. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz dongle that you would plug into one of those USB 3.0 ports in the back of the shield. And this gives you mouse control. You have a full on keyboard, um, you know, it's basically just a uh, more simple way to interact without having to have a giant full-size keyboard and mouse. Uh, it feels great, very responsive, it's backlit, uh, and it's rechargeable. So I will definitely let you guys know uh, what I think of this new redesign. Well, the design looks the same, but it says it's new for 2017, Re Mini i8 Plus. Uh, I'll leave links to all of these items in the description below. Uh, of the video so that if you're interested in getting any of them you can All right, so we've covered right so far the basic differences to the shields, okay? same performance different size uh, The new one does not have micro USB uh, Port and it also does not have a micro SD card slot Aside from that the new shield comes with a controller the old shield did not however you could buy a controller for the old shield um, no, I'm sorry, the, new sh the old Shield did come with a controller, it didn't come with the remote. So they both come with a controller, okay? I'm going to show you the differences. So this is the controller for the brand new 2017 version of the Shield, alright? It's uh, really cool. Uh, I actually like it in hand. Uh, actually, no, you know, I actually like the old one slightly better, but it might just be because I'm so used to it, uh, feeling in hand while holding it. Uh, this one just feels a little slim in the in the holders around here for the size of my hands. Not that my hands are huge or anything, but this feels does feel a little bit slim. But let me get into this for you guys anyway, because it, it still feels great. Solid, very good controller, easy to use and uh, play games with, for sure. Um, on this controller, you have your X, Y, A, and B buttons. They are set up uh, very similarly to um, the Xbox in a way. Looks very similar to like Xbox One. You also have your analog joysticks, which are actually set up like PS4. All right, because um, they're side by side instead of staggered. And then your D-pad is up here, which is also more like PS4. Uh, but it feels really comfortable and good. This button right here actually depresses. It is the power button to turn it on. This little slot dot right there, that is the microphone to pick up your voice. On the top, you have a micro USB port for charging. And on the bottom, underneath there, you have a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeters. So you can plug in headphone and you can listen to uh, the shield through there. All right. Um, the other thing is <clears throat> right up here on the bottom here, you have three buttons. Uh, they are the same three buttons on the old remote, uh, which is home and menu and back uh, you get. And then this slider right here, if I'm not mistaken, as I said, I haven't used it yet, but from what I understand, this will allow you to turn the volume up and down on the shield, all right, by sliding your finger up and down over this section here, I believe. <clears throat> um, for comparison's sake, here's your old remote and your new remote. As you can see, they do look different. So the three buttons that I mentioned over here are on this remote, right here in this thing. Your power button is still the same, except this old power button was touch sensitive, so it did not actually depress. Your volume on the old one was a plus or minus down here. 
Um, other than that, very similar, except it's a lot thicker around the back. I actually feel a little bit more comfortable presently using this shield remote than the old one. The other difference is on the bottom, there is no headphone jack on the old one. On the it is on the top instead, along with the USB port. All right, but functionality wise, exactly the same thing. So it doesn't matter which one you have, whether you get a new one or an old one, the uh, remotes do the same exact thing. They have exactly the same functionality. They're just designed a bit differently. So that's your remotes in coverage. I would say they weigh just about the same as well. There's not much difference to the weight of them. Here's where your biggest difference comes in, all right? Uh, first of all, the old shield from 2015 did not come with the box. You had to buy it for $49.99. That was the regular retail price from NVIDIA, okay? Um, the new shield comes with the remote in the box. This is your new remote. Looks exactly like the old remote because that's the old one, okay? There's really not a lot of difference here, guys. They're pretty much, when you look at them, they're the same. The only difference would be the holes on the top here are different. There you go, you can see them. One of them, this one, the new remote, um, it has uh, indentation in the, that's where your, it picks up your uh, voice in the microphone if you're doing voice search. The old one has a grill on it. So that is really the only differences whatsoever. Okay, um, as far as the front facing part of it, where the difference comes is on the bottom, okay? Here you go, let me pull this back here. As you can see here, the old remote, which is this one, has a micro USB port and a headphone jack. So here's your micro USB port, here's your headphone jack. So you could plug headphones into this and listen to it. The micro USB port is just for charging, all right? This has nothing, it's just a screw, that's it. And the reason for that is that they are designed a bit differently, okay, um, on the internals. And there's a reason for it. The old remote had the headphone jack and the port because it was a rechargeable battery. You had to recharge it pretty often. If you were using the Shield a lot, this battery died kind of quick. Uh, I was recharging it, you know, initially it was a little bit better, but as time went on, it got a little worse. Um, by the way, you can also, I forgot to mention, you can slide the volume up and down on the slider here in the center uh, on the remotes, okay? You just go like that on either remote and the volume goes up and down. Um, the one thing that I will say is about the bottoms and the ports is that the old remote was great. I loved being able to plug in the headphone and listen to the shield, uh, whatever was on the shield coming through uh, the headphones, but it did die fast, especially when you did that. Initially, I was getting maybe, you know, three to four days out of it before I had to charge it, but I wasn't using it as heavily as I do now. Um, and it's also a little older now. And now I charge it basically once every day, day and a half, two days tops. Uh, the new one has two coin cell batteries inside of it, which are replaceable, uh, but no headphone jack. And the reason is it can't recharge. However, in exchange for losing the headphone jack, which you still have on the controller, so you can always use the controller for your headphone jack. It has a bigger battery, lasts longer, so it's fine. Uh, you get a year's worth approximately of battery life out of the new one. All right. Those are your differences, guys. Again, I hope that helps explain it because a lot of people uh, were asking me and seemed a little bit uh, confused about what the differences are. The main, main differences of between old shield and new shield is the size, number one. New shield is way smaller. It's kind of cute. Looks like baby shield. Uh, and the design of the, re the uh, actual game controllers, but they have exactly the same functionality no matter which shield you have. Uh, and also the... Um, Remote controls, the primary difference between them is just headphone jack and recharge all the time or no headphone jack on the new one and lasts about a year. Other than that, they're basically the same. All right, the new one is a little thicker as well, uh, front to back. Let me show you guys that just so you can see. I mean, they're, it's uh, not a tremendous amount of difference, but it's a little bit thicker. This is, this is the new one here, so you can see that. But uh, Size-wise, other than the thickness, they're pretty much exactly identical. And they have dropped the NVIDIA branding on the back of the new one. So the new one, the, the, the old one here has the NVIDIA logo on the back. The new one has no logo. But what that means to you is absolutely nothing. The only thing that matters is you can have a headphone jack with the old one or a non-headphone jack with the new one. Uh, but keep in mind, guys, that this uh, initial showing here... Uh, can't really call it an unboxing, even though I did just unbox it, I didn't do it on screen. It is an unboxing. Uh, this new 
smaller version is only on the regular 16 gigabyte Nvidia Shield. If you buy the pro version with the 500 gigabyte hard drive, you are going to get this box. It is much bigger and much heavier. Nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want, you can go ahead and get it. Also keep in mind the difference is as well, the 500 gigabyte hard drive is a hybrid drive. I believe it has eight gigs uh, of solid state uh, and the rest is all um, spinning hard drive. I did notice between on the old version at least, I liked the 16 gigabyte speed a little bit better. When you were loading games or things like that, it was slightly faster, but it's a minimal difference. It's not something that I think would bother anyone. Uh, I will say in full disclosure that I did have a problem with my initial Shield Pro uh, of the 2015 version because of the hard drive. I when I was looking at thumbnails, they were taking forever to build, but NVIDIA was great about it. They replaced it for me absolutely free, sent me a brand new one, not even a refurb or anything. It was brand new, and it, my Pro has been working fine ever since. So something was just a little wonky with that hard drive. But I, I bring that up because of the fact that Hard drives are more prone to being faulty than any type of flash uh, drive or solid state drive. And the regular 16 gigabyte version comes with flash uh, space, flash storage, okay? Um, and then you can get something like this or actual hard drive or whatever you want to plug in to expand that. That's the route I would take. One, the size is better. I like smaller devices like that. I think it's great. Um, I will be bringing you guys pretty soon uh, a video showing you how to set up the shield. So I'm going to turn it on for the first time with you guys and have it, you know, basically uh, get all set up. Same way I did for the Mi Box, uh, which I'll also add a uh, link to that video in the card at the near the end. Uh, there'll be a card on the screen for that. All right, guys. So. That's it. That is the differences. I hope that explained it to you guys. I, if you're asking me for a recommendation for a box, there is nothing I would recommend more than this 16 gigabyte shield. And again, I'll leave links to everything I've shown in the video, uh, including this USB 3.0 drive and this Re uh, Mini i8 Plus remote. Um, I haven't used either of those with the shield yet, but I'm sure they'll be good. Uh, you just have to make sure you get official uh, devices. But when I set it up, I'll be using that and you guys can watch me use it and I'll give you my actual review of these items at that time uh, to tell you if they're good or bad. Uh, but like I said, I highly doubt they'll be bad. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope that this video is informative to you guys on the differences between the 2015 Shield and the 2017 Shield. If you're looking for an Android streaming device, you want to run Kodi, you want to play video games. I mean, the Shield does so much stuff. I'll show it to you in the, basically, it won't be a review, it'll be a setup, but I'll review it to some degree as well, all right? Uh, there's so much more that the Shield can do than any other box. All right, guys. Um, that's it for right now. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.